Proton Plus 13.1 stable version, official version, it's finally coming back. I just made a video recently on Stack OS, Legion OS that a lot of customers are going are uh, coming back. But actually, Proton Plus was not that dead because Stack OS and Legion OS were dead from a long time. Proton Plus didn't got the update from last two or three months, but now it's finally here. Proton Plus is one of the most stable customers. I made a video on this previous version some time ago. You can go and check out that. It's super stable and it it is giving you the pixel kind of vibes in in addition all of the features which you uh, which are available in AOSP so that's quite interesting you can see the default launcher which is almost same like pixel launcher but it is not actually it's not actually a pixel launcher it's actually a launcher 3 base launcher which is having the support for icon pack which is having the support for icon labels etc also if you move on to the wallpapers and style option the best thing about this one is the custom themed icons I just love this option because you have the option to choose your own themed icons even you can build your own themed icons the tutorial is available on the internet I found that once and you can go and explore that too but by default custom themed icons you can use the lawn icons you can use any other themed icon pack if you want to and other options like icon pack fonts and etc etc options are already present it's not a customization focused custom room but still the default features are quite interesting volume panel is also not like the same all, all android 13 based custom rooms it's a bit different here you can see the volume panel is uh, over the top and we have that option option related to you can change the to mute or silent or ring from the bottom and you can see the overlays are looking quite interesting it's not the same like in every custom room also if you take a look at the status bar internet traffic monitor which is a speed meter basically is on the left side most of the AOSP custom room provides you this feature on the right side like in wi-fi or in the battery style related to that but this speed meter is now in the left side very close to the clock looks interesting also, if you move on to the display options or wherever you will able you will be able to notice that switches are something different. If you guys are able to notice here, switches are almost same like Android 12, but this option which was actually present with Android 12 latest initial developer previews or beta updates, the switches were there, but with the new updates or stable updates, these things were removed, but it's there. In addition to these options, we have now playing options available. Now playing is a very useful feature available in most of the Pixel devices. Unfortunately, in my case, it's not working. I'm not sure the why, but if it is available in your case, it's super interesting. And you can also get this now playing feature in every device. For example, if you rooted your device, you can install Magisk modules. You can try out that. And the only now playing, only now playing specific module I'm gonna share with you very very soon. Make sure to subscribe the channel. Vibration and haptics also have the option to customize the haptics intensity. This is one of my favorite features because if you want to use the touch feedback or any kind of vibration, you, you should have the option to customize the intensity and this option is present here. In-call vibration options is also the part of a best custom room and yes, it's present here. Other options are basically same here. This custom room also provides you the feature for OTA updates. If you didn't check it out, I made a video some time ago regarding I first time tried OTA update in a custom room. How was the experience? How I updated through OTA? You can go and check out that. And this custom room also supports OTA. Things might be different. Instructions might be different that how you can install that. You can check out their website for more information regarding installation or their Telegram channel. We'll provide you the link in the description for that. Uh, also, if you move on to the system navigation options, you'll be able to notice navigation bar pill and keyboard space can be hidden, but that IME space hide option, which is actually so useful. Unfortunately, it's not present. But of course, a lot of new things are there a lot of good options are present if you are not able to see one feature there should not be a big deal other options are basically same so these are some interesting things about proton plus previously this customer was so good with this new update actually this is so good it is still so good and the terms of performance what i found in redmi note 10 pro i tried a lot of customers right now as this device is two years old at least for me and the performance was not so up to the mark but after installing proton plus this performance the device performance looking so interesting so satisfying in the terms of app lock let me show you that if this app lock is compatible with the default system apps it is you will be able to lock the system apps too and this is one of the positive things about this custom room other options are basically same so this is it link for the official devices etc is already available in the description make sure to check out that and for more videos like this make sure to subscribe to the channel thanks and i will see you in the next one goodbye